This meeting of the Littleton Licensing Authority will come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Chair Cole. Vice Chair Levere. Present. Authority Member Buchanan. Here. Authority Member Day. Here. Authority Member Schock. Here. Authority Member Webb. Here. Authority Member Winsack. Here. Uh, item two on our agenda is approval of the agenda. Do you have a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? No. I shall now recognize the attendance of Chair Cole. Here. <laughs> Apologies. Did you approve the agenda? We've just approved the agenda. Uh, I'll let you carry on with the certification minutes. All right, uh, item 3A, certification of the September 14, 2016 regular minutes. Um, does anyone have a motion to approve the clerk certification of the minutes? I so move. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, item 5A, liquor license application hearings. Resolution to approve a liquor license application for the Alley LLC doing business as the Alley 2420 West Main Street, Littleton, Colorado. Is there someone here on behalf of the applicant? Uh, good evening, uh, <clears throat> James Bimeford, registration 13142, appearing on behalf of the Alley. We have uh, both the owner and the manager here with us uh, this evening too. Okay, good evening. Um, it looks like we have a few attached, or a few exhibits, excuse me. There's exhibits A through G, which I'll move that we enter um, into the record. All second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Um, <clears throat> would you mind anyone who's gonna uh, speak tonight, would you mind just having them all come up together and we'll swear them in? Uh, absolutely, and, and Carol Johnson from Esquire Petitioning. Okay, great, you can have them all come up together. So if I could just have each of you identify yourself into the microphone one at a time. Carol Johnson with Esquire Petitioning Services. <laughs> Good evening, Ms. Johnson. I'm Tommy Scarborough, manager. Good evening, Mr. Scarborough. Uh, Zach Smith, primary owner. Good evening, Mr. Smith. Could the three of you please raise your hand and answer, do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give before this authority is truthful? Yes. All right, thank you. Go ahead and proceed. <clears throat> well, we'll start with Carol Johnson from Esquire Petitioning. Okay. Just go ahead and do it. Carol, identify yourself and uh, the methodology and the, did you have occasion to do petitions for the alley? Yes, yes. yes. Carol Johnson with Esquire Petitioning Services. We uh, were hired to do the needs and desires petitions for the alley. As always, we met at the location, uh, went over the type of license, um, the type of uh, facility and uh, the uh, plan for them, and then split out to do the different areas of the neighborhood um, in a variety of quadrants, both in town, um, west of Santa Fe, and east of the bridge. So we covered residents in all area, all those areas. Of that, we did 400 door knocks, of which 141 people signed the petition, 13 declined to sign, 12 were ineligible, and 251 did not respond to the door. Of that, we obtained 108 residents and 32 businesses for 140 in support for 99.3%. There was one resident in opposition for 0.7% for the 141, um, equaling 100%. The one person who signed in opposition felt there were sufficient number of outlets in the neighborhood. So in the, the final analysis of the needs and desires was 140 in support for 99.3 and one in opposition for 0.7% for the 141 or 100%. And I will answer any questions you might have. Any questions from the authority? It's a pretty high number that they've achieved. They went to all the neighboring neighborhoods. I think it looks sufficient. I think the neighborhood definitely feels that there's a need. They're very happy to have, uh, you know, a new um, place to go. And uh, of course, the liquor license inclusive in that new <coughs> new home. Um, 
very, very favorable comments from residents and businesses, uh, and of course needing the license to go with the new operation. All right, thank you. We'd call uh, Zach Smith. And just make sure you speak into the microphone because the uh, video is our record for the meeting. Okay, uh, Zach Smith, um, primary owner, um, The Alley, LLC. <laughs> That's, I'm always, I, I'm, I'm not sure we both fit back here, but uh, so Zach, what's your, you're, you're the primary owner, what, what's your other business and can you just tell the board how you came up with this concept uh, and kind of your background? Sure. Um, yeah, so um, oh, I'm also the owner of uh, Briscoe Construction um, Corporation. We're a uh, commercial construction company. Um, uh, started two and a half years ago. A lot of us uh, worked together on the Union Station project downtown uh, with Milner White. We uh, pretty much, I think, out of the four partners of Briscoe, I think three of the four are from Littleton. So we had a, a real passion to come back and, you know, uh, start a put our our business office here we're actually over right next to bradford auto body right now kind of out through the space and um yeah so we we um bought jose's with the intent to office um out of basically half of it or a little over half and then um put uh, the alley llc on on the other side um the concept really the the alley you know you see a lot of it in um in denver and some other towns Plus, uh, we'd worked with Dennis and some of the uh, folks in the historical district about, you know, some of the alley activations and placemaking um, that they were looking for. And so we kind of dovetailed uh, a lot of the, the concepts and decided that um, because it's a thinner space, um, that if we could activate both the front and the back alley. Let me, let me stop you there. Um, is this the diagram of the alley? That is the diagram. Mm -hmm. yeah, Randy, could we get the overhead, please? Yeah, just give it one second there to warm up. Okay, great. Can you kind of work the, they all have a, <laughs> microphones, please. Excuse me, just a moment. Um, Mr. Beinford, if you want to use the microphone on that desk over there, and maybe you can sit there and ask your questions. That, uh, Does that work for you? Or? Probably fit better that way. Okay. <laughs> uh, Zach, could you... Um, do you see the diagram in front of you? I sure can. Okay, um, and we can look at it on the uh, overhead. Can you kind of work the uh, <clears throat> liquor authority through the diagram, starting from uh, Main Street and the patio in front and patio in back, how it kind of all works? Sure, so, um, you know, this this right here is, is Main Street, and so then this is all the Briscoe Construction Office on this side. And then over over here, you know, so you have the post office back here and the Old Town Tavern right here. Um, and then so this is the old back um, parking lot for Jose's. So again, working with um, the city on, you know, how we can add some outdoor space uh, with the parking. Uh, we came up with this back patio concept that uh, actually has big 15 foot high steel, steel frames and we're doing um, murals um, through in kind of conjunction with um, Garrett over in the city of Richard Little and um, some historical photos from Littleton on these actual back panels. Um, and then the, there's a roll up door where we're gonna have a food truck come in uh, that's a dedicated food truck. All it does is, um, you know, we operate that as well. And the, the food concept and is really a mountain Mexican uh, type theme where, um, you know, we're using fresh local ingredients, kind of cooked the old fashioned way, um, smoked, fire roasted, smothered. Um, and then with string lights. And so it's really almost like a, a little bit of a um, festival atmosphere, but there's sit down service back in that back patio and there's sit down service all throughout the, the main main run of the alley. So both inside and outside. Also very visible from, um, you know, the, the storefronts on, uh, we're putting big glass walls on both the front and the back um, so that our staff always has full view of, of all the spaces um, uh, that, we're, that we're looking at. Um, so you have a, a small patio in front and a very large patio in the back? Correct. 
and what kind of visibility and what kind of staffing will you have on those patios to ensure your, you police the, the alcohol consumption? Sure, so, so the, we'll start with the front patio. The front patio is very visible from, from the bar. One, everything is staffed, so we'll have waiters and waitresses that are going, you know, kind of throughout the space. But, um, you know, so that's, that's one way. But then on top of that, uh, this is a folding glass wall right here. And, um, you know, similar to what you see in a lot of the establishments downtown where you can kind of see outside very easily. Um, and then on the back patio, we'll have on top of waiters and waitresses, we have, um, you know, cooks and this food truck is fully staffed. And so we'll be able to look out over. And then also this wall is also a glass wall. So, you know, again, the whole thing's very, very see-through. And then there's a server station right in the middle. So I feel like we have it pretty well covered. And will, you, will food be available at all times that you have alcohol service? Yep, yeah, we'll be, um, you know, dust till dawn, we'll have the food truck operational. So if you're open for alcohol service, the food truck will be open at all times? Sure, yep, yeah, we have, you know, and then in the mornings, um, you know, we'll be serving breakfast burritos because we're going to be doing some early prep. Um, so from the beginning to end. Okay, so you've had your sign up for a while. You're, now, we're on the diagram where it says the alley, uh, that's actually the your office building for Bristol Cone Construction? Uh, yes. Okay, and then you purchase the old Jose's and put your office building on one side and the restaurant on the other? That is correct. Okay. Um, and you're going to, you're still running Bristlecone Construction, so you're, you've hired Tommy Scarborough to be your manager? Yeah, so we're, we're the, um, primary investor in in the space. Obviously, we own the space. The Alley LLC is, um, you know, leases the space from Bristol Construction. And then, but we're, you know, um, um, the inv main investor on the Alley. And then Tom, who has, um, you know, he'll be talking in a sec, but he helped open the tavern um, down here and has a lot of experience. We'll be kind of running the day-to-day -day operations. Um, you've had your sign up for a while, a few days you did petitions. Have you gotten feedback from the neighbors? Yeah, everybody. Everybody's excited. Um, you know, one day we hope uh, it's known as the Alley and not Jose's. But um, everybody, to everybody, it's it's Jose's and me, me included. I actually used to eat there when I was a little kid and stuff. So, um, and we're actually going to. Um, we're getting such interest from the neighbors about what are we doing, and everybody's excited about it that we're actually going to um, name some of the. Um, uh, stuff and Jose's actually been by and we've given them a couple of things. We're gonna need some drinks after, you know, Jose's margaritas or you know, we're trying to kind of work through that. But yeah, I'd say overall everybody's been really positive and you know the growth of Littleton's pretty pretty impressive right now. So everybody everybody's positive about it. Uh, when do you plan to open? Um, so since since we're also the constructor, I've shrunk my project manager's schedule considerably, and we're trying to get it get it open by the candlelight walk. But that'll be a uh, probably a push, but it'll be right around there. Okay. I have no further questions. If the board would, any questions from the authority members? Mr. Smith, go ahead. Let me go in a couple of different directions here. Uh, is there access to the alley from the Briscoe, Bristlecone offices? Um, so we we limited the access. There's an access control point right here because the the offices um, and the alley shared a joint bathroom, similar to like you see in a lot of downtown locations. Um, but that's actually an access control point so that we can um, uh, make sure that there's no you know cross connections. Okay. Share with us, if you will, the the uh, concept for the alley. Is it a walk-in neighborhood bar or is it a destination bar? Is it a sports bar, much like the tavern? Tell us what your um, marketing concept is. So what we're really, you know, so we're calling it a mountain Mexican. So we feel like, particularly in Colorado, um, in New Mexico, you know, the Mountain West, there's there's green chilies have been to, even though I grew up here, been to other places, we don't feel like the, the food, um, you know, the Mexican food in other places are really the same as here. And so we're really playing up the local mountain Mexican uh, fresh food, but not um, really light fresh, but more smoked, fried, smothered, you know, kind of more traditional, um, um, traditional food. And then, you know, handcrafted cocktails, 
Um, you know, we will have some TVs um, because, you know, when the Broncos are playing, you got to watch Broncos. But um, it's not – we're not – plastering everything with TVs like the Tavern and some of those places. Um, so it's, I wouldn't really call it a sports bar. I would call it um, more of a, a local cantina um, uh, type, type place. We we're also um, intend to um, do have live mu music on the weekends, um, you know, and uh, again, really play up. Actually, one of the things, um, I don't know if this is too deep, but one of the things we're doing on the inside, since the city of Lowton has been so great, and we've been getting grants from the historical district, we actually have found some of the old businesses that were ran in like the 1890s in Littleton, and we're going to put blade signs on the alley, so there's brick on either side, so it looks like you're walking into the old businesses of Littleton. Like we found Chatfield's old business was uh, called the Last Chance Ditch Company, and, you know, have found like seven different old businesses that we're going to kind of put signage on the inside. So yeah, show us where on the diagram the live music might be situated. Um, so we're right right here. We were looking at doing um, kind of a small stage with um, two people on, you know, kind of Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. Uh, there has been some talk that um, on for a larger event, we can move the food truck into the parking and pull um, you know, stage if we have a more of a bigger band, but okay. total seating capacity, uh, total seating capacity inside, I think is 60, 62. Um, and then if you count the outside, I think we're about a hundred. Okay. Total number of beer taps, uh, seven. Okay. And staffing, uh, we're looking at about 25 to 30 people. Okay. <clears throat> Other questions from the board? Where? So along the long part, is that all going to be bar, or well, how's the seating arrangement going to be? So, so the seating is basically, um, so all the seats are basically going to be along this back wall, and then here's the, the bar itself, and then there'll be tables, tables right here. And then I assume in the, the back patio, you butt up to the back of Old Town, and is that parking behind there? Yep, yeah, so this is the this is the parking right here. And that's just parking for you guys. Yeah, it's par it's parking for us and then on top of that we s just signed a lease um where I don't know if you guys know where old Jose's old parking lot used to be, um, but we have a five-year lease, um, leasing out the space for parking back there. So um, during the day, Briscoe Construction will park there and then at night it'll be available to to the alley. Free? Uh, that's to be determined. <laughs> How we many spaces is that? Uh, there's 28 spaces back there. So I think we have 28 and 5, so we're a little over 30 for both. Is that tree going to be inside the patio on the front there? Sorry, say that again? You have a tree that says it's going to remain. Is that going to be in the patio? Um, yeah, so it's it's actually the, the last SDP plan just cut off that last little corner right there. So it's actually going to be right on the other side. And are you going to have any smoking areas? Um, smoking areas is not, I don't think so. Yeah, no. All right, any other questions for Mr. Smith? The back patio, <clears throat> is it just completely 100% open air? Yep. So in, in the winter time, it'll be probably less likely to be used, uh, but accessing still the food truck and then taking your food back in or having it delivered in. Yeah, so because since it's sit-down service, we have a ramp um, that that comes up. So in the winter, when you're sitting in here, um, the waiters and the waitresses will come back out to the to the food truck and, and and serve it. And we have containers so it doesn't get cold. But yeah, I mean, what, we have a fire pit out there. Um, you know, there's some debate about how much will get used in the winter. Just so we're clear, is this a singular food truck under contract or a series of rotating food trucks? On a schedule. So it's our food truck. So we're actually operating the food truck. So it's dedicated 100% ours. Um, it's actually going to be logoed the alley. So is it plumbed in and wired in? No. So it's it's a true food truck. So it's, you know, everything's through Tri-County Health. We just operate the food truck as well. So we don't, um, it's all standalone. Um, and so we'll have to pull it off to get, you know, the, the it dumped during the mornings and stuff like that. No other kitchen facilities in the building then? 
Nope, no other kitchen facilities. I mean, we have dishwashers and service stations for the bar, um, but no, no cooking or anything inside. What, what and how many other people have asked you, whatever possessed you to go into the bar business? <laughs> um, you know, because uh, I was told um, that the two most unsuccessful businesses are construction and a bar business. You figured and so I figured, you know, I've already got the construction side, might as well go into the bar side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have another question? Just, what are your anticipated hours? Uh, so Tommy can kind of go over in the hours in detail. I mean, basically, I think we're 11 to 11, or um, Monday through Thursday. Um, Friday, we're open to, to midnight. And then on the weekends. Saturday, 11 to midnight, Sunday, or no, sorry, Saturday, 9 o'clock till midnight, Sunday, 9 o'clock to 11. Yeah, so, so repeat that. Sorry, will you just for the video? Will you just repeat that into the mic? Um, as long or, as or Mr. Scarborough, right. when you come up, Wait, why not, yeah, why not, I was, yeah. If, if there are any other questions for Mr. Smith, and if you don't, okay. if you don't mind hanging around, just in case there's anything else. Yeah, no, I'll just stand aside here. Okay. Well, while you're there, is the only entrance on the Main Street side, or can you enter from the patio section also? No, you can you can enter from the back alley. So we actually have a big, um, uh, big. Um, Kind of artwork feature that helps bring people in from the from the backside as well. So that, is that door staffed? Yeah. So so the doors right here, and then we have um, full staff in the food truck and on this back patio. And will there will there be signs that tell people they can't leave with alcohol on the front and the back? <coughs> well, we'll have any any egress because we have two main egresses points. So we'll make sure it's clear that you can't can't have liquor beyond those points. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Did, did, did you have, yeah, do you have anything you want to start with and then we can jump back in with questions? Um, actually, I think you, well, you, I have a couple foundation sure, questions. Go ahead. So, Tommy, if you just tell us your name. And, right, Tommy Scarborough. <laughs> okay. And you're the register manager for the alley? I am. And uh, there was discussion. Can you describe the hours for the? Uh, yeah, so for, the hours will be 11 o'clock to 11 o'clock on Monday through Thursday. 11 o'clock till midnight on Friday, uh, 9 a.m. till midnight on Saturday, and 9 a.m. till 11 on Sunday. And uh, um, what about training of your employees? What's your, what, what do you have planned as far as uh, training your service tr uh, staff? Um, so we're planning on bringing staff in roughly the 11th of November. Uh, we're gonna do about two weeks of training. Um, that will include, you know, a group uh, alcohol service training, either through tips or um, another outlet, uh, more than likely through tips at this point. Um, you know, we'll go over service standards and uh, our products, our philosophies, and kind of, you know, what we intend to be. Well, will all employees involved in the service of alcohol be tips or safe serve or some certified training? Yes. Okay. Um, and then I, those are the foundation. I think you asked Zach most of them, but any questions the board have? Do you, um, do you have any, do you have an estimate on uh, alcohol sales to food, on, on what you'd like to see? I mean, know, it's obviously. sort of a guess at this point, but sure. I'm, I'm figuring that we're going to land somewhere around 50% either way. Um, it might be tilting a little bit higher towards alcohol sales, maybe to 55, 45, but at this point, you know, our emphasis and what we've been really working hard on is the food a lot. So I anticipate that that's going to be a draw for us. Okay. You anticipate the food being entrees only, or do you think there are uh, snack type uh, entries that you'll have? We've got uh, right now, I mean, the menu is pretty much finalized, minus some tweaks here and there, but we've got. Uh, basically a lineup of appetizers with uh, chips and pico, uh, queso dip, nachos, um, and then we go into entrees, tacos, tostadas, chili rellenos, enchiladas, fajitas. Um, so it's pretty much a full lineup. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, if I see your uh, record correctly, you are presently or recently a manager at Tavern Littleton. Uh, I left the tavern four years ago. Under good terms? Yes. And um, 
as you know, there's a background check involved for the folks who have ownership or management. And um, there were a couple of items that came up on your background, which I believe would have come up when you were, were you, because you were also the manager at the tavern, is that correct? For a short time, yes. Sir. Okay. Um, so I think we've probably gone through this before, but is there anything, you know, again, we have, we have a report. Is there anything you'd like to speak to about um, time since... Time since any issues, anything about him? I was young and dumb once, you know, um, but you know, uh, I mean, you, you've got it there on the paper and, and certainly in 17 years, I haven't had any sort of issues, so, you know. Okay, and like I said, um, we did at the time uh, go through it and approve uh, as well, but wanted to give you the chance to speak to it if you felt right. like you needed to. Any other questions from the authority? How was your time with the art house uh, most recently? Uh, the art house was awesome. It, it really was good. I think I I grew a ton. I mean, it's a it's a busy atmosphere. They do a high volume, and it's it's something that I never experienced before. I mean, when you work a shift at, at the yard house, and you know you worked, <laughs> so yeah. um, it was a great experience for me. Actually, I really enjoyed it. Was that the the downtown location? I actually worked at all three. I was at uh, at Lone Tree for about a year. I was downtown for a year and a half, and then I finished at Lakewood for like six months. Okay. All right. Any other questions? I'm curious, how did you and Zach meet? Uh, family, friends. I knew his sister all the way back in high school here at Heritage, and knew her through college. And when they kind of went into this venture, she just reached out to me to have some conversations with them, and it just kind of grew from there. Heritage. It's good. <laughs> we, <laughs> truly a local. Any, uh, any, other, any other closing thoughts? I have nothing further. I think uh, it, it's truly the Littleton natives coming back to take over Jose's, and uh, they've really thought this through. It's a nice concept for downtown. All right. Um, this being a public hearing, I do need to ask, although it doesn't look like it, is there anyone else here tonight that would like to testify? Seeing none, uh, is there uh, an appetite for an agenda or any other discussion from the authority? You guys can sit down. I... Um, I'll move that the public hearing be closed and that a resolution of the Littleton Licensing Authority be approved, which grants the Alley 2420 West Main Street, Littleton, Colorado, a tavern liquor license contingent upon approval by the Colorado Liquor Enforcement Division and based upon the following findings of fact. One, that the notice of the public hearing was posted and published. Two, that the applicant has possession of the premises and the premises are suitable for the requested license. Three, that the needs of the neighborhood are not now being met. Four, that it is the desire of the adult inhabitants of the neighborhood that the license be issued. Five, that existing similar liquor licenses in the designated neighborhood are not adequate. And six, that the applicant and registered manager of good moral character, record, and reputation. Second. Any discussion? I have a question for the clerk. Do we have an idea when the state license will issue? Uh, at this time, I haven't heard from them, but I would anticipate it being within the next week or two. Thank you. Any other thoughts, discussion? Will the clerk please pull the authority? Chair Cole? Yes. Vice Chair Levere? Yes. Authority Member Buchanan? Yes. Authority Member Shock? Yes. Authority Member Webb? Yes. All right, that passes unanimously. Congratulations, gentlemen. It is nice to see, as a uh, little native myself, nice to see someone in there and uh, exciting to see the historical nods. So, best of luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda is 16A. Any reports from the staff? Not at this time. Okay. Um, legal? Nope. Okay. Um, any reports from authority members? Question for the staff. What's the latest on the boardroom? Um, in regards to... Are they current on their taxes? I don't believe so at this time. I believe they're entering into another repayment plan, but I haven't seen it yet. And remind us, the so long as they're working with the city on a repayment plan, the city wouldn't file a lien and therefore 
we wouldn't they wouldn't be back in front of us right Correct. until until essentially the city feels like there's no hope to continue forward based on the way that um finance procedures are written right now we have to enter into another payment agreement with them but if they don't adhere to that then it's my understanding that a new lien will be filed and then they would and then they would be back, be back in front here. of the authority yes okay and do we have anything else in the hopper no new applications. Um, I do have several transfers in the process. Um, India's Best in uh, Woodlawn. Um, Pacino Wood Oven Pizza is in the process of a transfer. And um, FA 99 down on County Line Road is in the process of a transfer. So the only, the only reason those would come in front of the full authority is if there was a question on... If something derogatory, derogatory came up came in the up. background, yes. Okay. All right. Any other questions, comments, thoughts from the the Southern Kitchen? Do you know an open date for um, the, the Louisiana Southern Kitchen? The Lost Cajun. Lost Cajun. Um, I do not have an open date for them yet, but they are licensed and ready to go as soon as as soon as they call. I'll walk over with their license. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm waiting for that one. Oh Anything else? It's been a tough spot over there. Yes. So hopefully yeah. Yeah. they have some success. All right. Um, I have nothing on 16C, so <coughs> seeing no further business, uh, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is adjourned. Excellent. We were both in.